Gauge Pack's color coding function can be used to improve object recognition and draw your focus to items that require your attention. For example, color coding the gauges list can be used to highlight overdue or in use gauges. Likewise, color coding on the history or audit lists can be used just to group like associations together. In this video, we'll explore the options available to you as it pertains to color coding your gauges, history, and audit lists. GagePack offers three different color coding states, no color coding, color coding entire rows, and our favorite, color coding only the leading column. All of these states, along with their colors, can be controlled in the Global Settings section of the GagePack Preferences menu. First, as seen here, no color coding is being used. Rows will simply alternate between light gray and white to help your eyes distinguish them from one another. Second, you can color code entire rows as seen here. Priority can be adjusted with the move up and move down buttons. For example, a gauge that is both overdue for calibration and overdue for R&R &R will be color coded with the highest option on the list, in this case, calibration. Finally, switching to only the leading column results in a simple, clean, color coded signal in front of each item in the list. With Gauge Pack, you have the freedom to choose which color coding option best suits the needs of your organization. Don't forget to check out our other videos for further understanding of the Gage Pack program and features.